sentient life forms lived here. Until the protonatic detonation. This pillar here, it seems to be a sign pointing to that canyon. Perhaps a pathway there leads to a settlement of some kind. I'm reading metallic objects there as well. Shall we take a look? Look, there's some kind of large structure further down the canyon. Look at the size of that plaza. These people must have had quite a developed culture. Let's take some readings up there. This looks like a town square or ceremonial center of some kind. I see some murals on the far side of the square over there by that arch. I'd like to examine them. They might tell us more about this place. bringing some objects to this place. Crystals or gems, I believe? They built their settlement around this site. I believe it's a place of great significance to them. The next mural may hold more clues for us. Let's have a look. to hold the volume of crystals they collected over the years. Quite the enigma we found here. I suspect there's more to be found inside. Getting there will be a challenge, however. According to my scans, these pillars are connected to some kind of massive mechanical structure. Probably the peak of technology for these people. I believe it's some kind of opening mechanism in the structure store. Structure. Too much for it could even collapse entirely. I suggest we create a holographic forensic reconstruction. Yes, it would be best on analysis of things like footprints, wear patterns, and local construction. We can learn what people did here, how they went about their lives, and how they made the device work. We'd be watching a replay of history, roughly speaking. Gathering information from relics and leftover traces of the people who once lived here. These artifacts were used with opposable thumbs and indicate a likely hand span of 22 centimeters. these people had a stride that places them at about 1.6 meters on average. The wear patterns here show us that people leaned against here frequently. This was a meeting and gathering area. Strange. These relics should be covered with dust and sand, worn away by time and move. to continue our studies here. 
I suggest using modified pattern enhancers to do this. Enhancers online. The signal is strong and clear. Two down, two to go. One more and we'll be ready. That's the last one. All enhancers online and standing by. All right, the enhancers should give us a pretty good image range. Your tricorder can then act as the center of the network control for the enhancers. I can tie in my data to your tricorder whenever you want. Get a little close to the center of the square so... Yes? Better play a game? Fair damn a minute! Note that the alien is using the pillars in a specific order. the door. 